Hey there, laser makers. Jim, the Michigan laser guy here. Uh, just wanted to give a quick tutorial on masking images. Uh, it's a kind of a newer feature, um, but uh, it's a it's a little hidden gem in Lightburn. Um, and this is useful if you want to apply some type of texture or something to a shape. Um, maybe you want to um, infill infill in a shape that you are going to cut out with uh, an image or you want to do some uh, image engraving but only within a certain area. Um, so I'm going to show you a quick tutorial on how to do that and uh, let's get started. Uh, so on my screen I have some images kind of to set up uh, to kind of demonstrate this. Uh, the first image I have at the top here is uh, I have some bricks and I've already created uh, I've already created a kind of like a, a wall uh, kind of my my vision here is if I was make building a, a house and I wanted to apply this bricks um, you know these bricks to this uh, this wall shape so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take our shape we're gonna put that on one of the t1 or t2 of the tool layers um, so right now I have this shape um, I've I've already done the the uh, you know I've already re removed this window uh, from the shape, so I just drew a rectangle, put another rectangle inside it, and use the boolean tool to subtract that shape. So we're not going to go through that. Um, so I'm going to stick that on the tool layer. Uh, we're just going to put on T. Let's put on T2, uh, maybe a little more visible here. So we put that on T2. We're going to select our image that we're going to use for our uh, so our background here, right? We're just going to move it so it overlaps a little bit so you can see what's going to happen here. Um, a little bit far away. Um, so we're going to select both shapes and we can either hold control and select them both or you could like you know, select across them like that. Uh, we're going to right click on your image and there should be an item here that says apply mask to image. What that's going to do is that's going to apply the tool layer shape as a mask to this image and filter off and kind of like cut out everything that's not behind the shape. So let's go ahead and do that. Apply mask. And now what you can see is we have only the spots inside the masking shape uh, over the image. Now the beauty of doing this is we can rearrange things, we can move things around, we can actually resize that image right so like let's say we wanted smaller bricks here uh, so we can like resize it you know make them bigger uh, we can make them smaller uh, um, and basically we're restricted to seeing only the stuff uh, that is inside the shape so we're just using it as a mask right so if you had other shapes and other stuff around here and you wanted to trim all that off uh, you could do so um, Equally, like you could use this for, say, trimming the background. If you wanted to, like, engrave an image of a dog and you wanted to remove all the background, you know, you could draw a shape around the dog and use that shape as a mask um, to the image of the dog. So let's move on. I have my, uh, my business logo here, um, and I just have this so you can see what it looks like uh, to begin with. Um, and then I have the same thing with a mask applied. Um, again, I just took, um, you know, a circle, put it on the tool layer, and then applied it as, as a mask to the image. So we're going to show you that here again. I'm just going to show you in real time here. We're going to create a, uh, we'll create a hex here and make this shape. Uh, we're going to use that hex. And we're also going to select the, uh, the image. And we're going to say apply mask to image. So now it, it's still there. Um, um, but we can now move this uh, hex. And whatever is inside the hex is now going to be uh, our visible spot. So um, again, if you want to remove that mask, we can do that too. So we can say remove mask from image. And if you do that, it's just going to un unbreak that. Um, again, let's let's go ahead and uh, select them both and apply that mask. Apply mask, and then what we can do is we can also once we get this, uh, you know, if you get this how you want it and you only want that shape and you want to just 
delete the rest of the stuff. You can use flatten image mask. And what that does now is now it's it's just an, a single item, right? So it's just an image that is shaped the way that you had it masked. So the mask disappears, it's no longer visible, it's not even it doesn't even exist anymore. So it has basically just trimmed your image down to that laser mask. Um, so I hope that helps. I hope you can come up with some really great ideas on how to use that. Um, and uh, come up with some really cool uh, really cool projects that you can do using masking. Uh, I'd love it if you hit uh, smash that like button down there. Uh, subscribe uh, so you can see anytime I post new videos. And by all means, if you want to see something specific, go ahead and throw it in the comments. I'd love to... Uh, Love to make a video that's specific to what you guys want to see. Um, again, thanks and have a great day. Keep on lasering.